welcome again to another vlog. Um, firstly, I actually did go out last night. I went out with a, with a friend from Homerton and we met up with a friend from Lucy Cavendish and from Trinity College. And uh, we just went to Cindy's and it was a really good night actually. Not as many people, but actually the music was good and you know they were a good group of people to be with. Today I've got a supervision for civil law this afternoon and I've got something on at the Union this evening um, but first I've got to be getting on with some revision so I've mainly just been getting on with some constitutional law revision looking at conventions and also looking at some questions uh, especially to help with the constitutional law supervision I've got tomorrow probably head back to the library haven't had something for lunch get on with some more revision probably for civil law and then what I'll probably do is leave at some point after two because I have my civil law supervision at Clare Hall. I'm heading over to what will probably be my last civil law supervision for this academic year. Uh, so this will probably just be like a revision supervision. Just going through anything that we want to check in, asking any questions that we need answers for, things like that. And that's at Clare Hall. I've had my supervision for civil law, it was a revision supervision and uh, so we just went through different topics from across uh, the uh, civil law syllabus for this year uh, and it did help to clarify a few things, answer some much needed questions which was good. Uh, I've just had dinner and I'm now heading back out uh, to the Cambridge Union for the debate uh, so I think it's this ha wherever this house would send its children to private school uh, so that should be good and being doing events management this week, I'll be doing that for the, the debate today. The debate at the Union was really good actually. Um, a lot of people turned up, I think there was over 200 there, must have been, uh, which was amazing. Uh, floor speeches by members of the audience was brilliant, the speakers had really good points. Uh, it was just a very interesting debate overall. I would have actually abstained on this one because I wasn't sure to be honest so the motion was whether this house would send its children to private school and uh, it was I, I think I need more time to uh, balance the different arguments because it was definitely a lot of good arguments being put forward on both sides uh, of the debate. I came back and I've um, just been just done an exam question well just looking over a question and uh, read a little bit more of my book um, in terms of my um, things I need to do today for my that I've recorded in my growth book. I've pretty much done most of it, which I am pleased with. I'll probably go to bed soon, so I'll see you in the morning. So I've got my constitutional law supervision this afternoon. Uh, beforehand, I need to obviously prepare for that supervision, but also just get on with some other bits of revision as well. So I think I'm probably going to get something for breakfast and then maybe just go to maybe one of the study rooms and just get on with some revision. I decided to go over vicarious liability in the law of tort. I've just stopped to have some uh, lunch. It's Friday, so it's fish and chips. Now, I do normally have it on for dinner with my friends, but because I've got supervision uh, this afternoon, which I think happens around the time when I normally go for uh, dinner, then I've just thought it was easy just to get uh, the fish for lunch as opposed uh, to dinner. Uh, once I've had this I'll probably maybe uh, read a little bit of my book and then probably head to the library and just get on with some more revision and preparing for my constitutional soup bowl. So despite the rain, uh, hence the umbrella, I've been able to get here for my what will be my final constitutional law supervision. 
Uh, this is basically just going through, it's just a revision, supervision essentially, uh, just going through the various topics, cases, statutes, articles, discussion ideas uh, that we've looked at throughout the academic year. It's kind of a shame that it's actually the last uh, constitutional uh, law supervision. Um, after this, there'll be one final supervision, that'll be for tort law next week. So overall, the constitutional law supervision was really good. So we went through last year's exam paper, just went through each of the questions, looked at what the exams report said, and just discussed the kind of things that you could include uh, in answering those questions. Uh, and I found that really helpful. Uh, I've just had uh, something for dinner, probably just have uh, get on with some revision, probably for civil law. I managed to get some revision done for civil law, looking at uh, accessio, which is a method of acquisition in the Roman law of property. Uh, so at least I was able to get that done, uh, but I'm probably going to go to bed now, because uh, it is getting late. Good morning. The plan probably today is just to get on with more revision basically. Uh, I've set myself some goals in my growth book. So read another 10 pages of Sweet Tooth, the book that I'm reading at the moment. And also to look at at least two exam questions today. <laughs> This morning I did some revision for constitutional, going over separation of powers, then I did some, uh, after having lunch I did some revision for civil law, going through the Roman law of servitudes. I've just been to the shops to get a few things in, uh, put those away and then I'll probably head to the library to get on with some more revision, but of course there is something I need to do beforehand. Here we are again with the laundry segment, as you can see my clothes are behind me. Uh, I've got money on my account, uh, so I'll put my clothes into the uh, machine. We have 40 minutes for the cycle to be complete. In the meantime, we'll just be getting on with some more revision, probably for tort law. So from the laundry, I did some revision for tort law, looking over damages and death in relation to tort. And then had dinner and then just got on with some vision for criminal law, going through the partial defences to murder, so that's um, lost self-control and diminished responsibility. And I'm probably going to go to bed now. With it being Sunday, uh, there's brunch this morning, and then afterwards what I'll probably do is just get on with some revision. I was planning on getting on with some revision this morning actually, but I did sleep in a bit. But, uh, to be honest, I think I needed the sleep. But yeah, plan today is brunch first and then get on with some revision. I firstly got on with some revision for civil law, looking at the Roman law of contract. I then looked and then had, took a break, I read a bit of my book, and then did some constitutional law revision, just going over the cases again for judicial review. Uh, and then I've just had something for dinner, just made myself a sandwich. Uh, I'll probably just head back to the library, get on with some revision, probably for tort law and for criminal law. I was able to do some revision for tort law, going through duty of care in relation to the tort negligence. Uh, and I was able to do a couple of exam questions, or have a look at them. Um, so I did one for civil law and one for constitutional law. Despite not starting until later uh, today, I was able to get quite a lot uh, done. Um, most of it I was able to get done, which I'm pleased with. Good morning. I'll probably just be getting on with revision today. Those uh, exams are getting closer by the day. Um, I've been alright at the moment. There's uh, still a lot to get through, but I'm sure I'll be able to get on with it. Uh, but I'm probably going to go and have some breakfast first. The 
this morning I was able to get on with some vision for criminal law, going through secondary liability to solve the cases for that, um, and uh, then decided to have lunch afterwards. I'm probably just going to head back to the library and just get on with some more revision, probably do some civil law revision uh, first. Just to give a bit of a rundown of what I did after lunch, I did some revision for civil law, going through the Roman law of contract and some of the nominate contracts. I then did some revision for constitutional law, and just in that I just looked over some of the articles and just revising some of the key arguments from the articles in relation to judicial review. Then had a break and had something for dinner, and then just did some more revision in the library, looking at tort law and looking at, in particular, psychiatric injury and just going through those cases. Uh, I've got them back in my room, as you can see, probably going to go to bed. So at some point this afternoon, I have got something on in relation to the Cambridge Union. But before I'll probably just begin on with some revision. Uh, I'll probably get some breakfast first and then, like I say, get on with some revision in the library probably start with some civil law revision. I've just done some revision for civil law, going through contract, uh, the Roman law of contract, so things like quasi-contracts and packs. I also had just had something for lunch uh, in the buttery. Probably just going to go to the library and just get on with some more revision. I think I'll probably do constitutional law next and go through my notes on devolution. I just went over my notes for devolution for constitutional law. I'm heading to the union because I've got uh, just a short meeting there just to discuss how things have been going this term in terms of my role as a generalist and I'll probably just do some shopping whilst I'm out as well. It's a sunny day again which is nice as well. With regards to the meeting at the union, that was just, it was just like I say, it was just a small meeting just talking about uh, how I felt my new role as a journalist is going, what things could be improved, things like that. And there's an opportunity for me to ask questions as well, so that was fine. I just then went to Spoons to have something for dinner and then just did some shopping. I then, once I got back, got on with some revision for tort law, going through um, psychiatric injury and liability for admissions. So this is my planned schedule for today. So as you can see, I've broken it up. So I'm doing revision and then I'm either having lunch or reading or having my dinner just so I'm having those breaks. And I've got my goals there, as you can see, for example, to read 10 pages of my book, Sweet Tooth. Uh, and I've also got a to-do list so to, to, to try at least two exam questions and to also read uh, a new case that's coming out today. But yep, that's my plan. Hopefully I'll be able to stick to it. So I've been doing two things. First of all, just been going through some revision of the law of theft and while I was doing that uh, the new judgment that I wanted to have a look at was released so I've just been reading through that um, which is quite interesting so um, an interesting case. Uh, I've just had lunch as well probably just gonna head back to the library and just get on, from, on with some more revision uh, probably for civil law now uh, but there's one thing I need to do beforehand. Welcome back to this law snapshot segment. Uh, we're doing criminal law again and looking at homicide offences. Uh, homicide offences are basically offences that involve some form of death. And there are two main offences. You've got murder and then you've got involuntary manslaughter. Um, we're going to focus on murder uh, for this segment. Murder is, uh, is a common law offence and that basically means it's been developed by, mainly by case law. Um, the definition that's often used is the uh, unlawful killing of a reasonable creature and being under the que uh, Queen's Peace within a year and a day. That is the, the old definition. Now, 
Um, I'll just break that down. So, first of all, uh, the actus reus, that external element of the offence, has to be unlawful. Uh, so, it does means contrary to law. And also, of course, that means it's subject to any defences, like self defence, for instance. It has to be a killing. Um, and so, that can be by an act or it can be by an omission. And for those who watched my segment last week, you'll know that an omission is a fear to act when there's a, when there's a duty. And that duty is important when there's a duty to do so. Um, it has to be under the Queen's Peace. Queen's Peace, basically, King or Queen's Peace, depending on who the monarch is. That just basically. One of the ideas behind that is, Aussie's, is a situation such as a soldier who's at war, for instance. Um, then you also have, you've got this idea of being a reasonable creature and being. A reasonable creature and being basically refers to a human being. So you can't be liable for murder of a dog uh, under the common law offence of murder. Of course, there might be separate offences for dealing with animals, um, but um, for the purposes of the, the offence of murder, it applies to human beings. And there's two particular issues with that. You've got the beginning of life and the end of life. In terms of the beginning of life, um, no, no matter how late in the pregnancy, the death of a fetus does not constitute uh, the murder of a human being. However, in the case of Attorney General Reference Number 3 of 1994, they said, the House of Lords said that uh, where the injury is sustained to the fetus and the fetus is then born alive and afterwards, dies uh, as a result of that injury, then there could be liability either for murder or for involuntary manslaughter. The other situation is death. Uh, and the idea behind that in the case of Malkri is where in order for death to be satisfied uh, and therefore for you to not be liable, because also you can't kill someone who is dead, um, or you can be liable for attempted murder, um, the test normally used is brain stem death test. That's not the test that was uh, used in Malkerich. Uh, so, if, for example, you are unconscious, you are still alive according to the law. Um, and that's the act space. The final bit I mentioned there was the within a year and a day. That's no longer law, and that's since been abolished by legislation. And, of course, your killing has to cause the death, and so you have to prove that through what is known as the principles of causation. Final bit, uh, mens rea. And mens rea is either the intention to kill or the intention to cause grievous bodily harm. And funnily enough, you can be liable uh, for murder with only the intention to cause GBH. You don't have to intend to kill as long as you intend to cause GBH. And that intention uh, can take two forms. Well, I say two forms. Uh, your direct intention, which is the general core meaning of intention, so it's your purpose to bring it about. Uh, and there is oblique intention, um, but that's. Some argue that it's a separate form of intention, uh, uh, some argue that it is. It helps to prove the main form of intention. But you, anyway, you've got, to have the, you've got to have this unlawful killing of a human being under the Queen's Peace, with either the intention to kill or the intention to cause grievous bodily harm. And that's the offence of murder. If you uh, find that interesting, put in the comment section. Uh, below any ideas of what you want me to go through and I'll see you in the next segment. I'll just give a bit of a rundown. This afternoon I did some revision for civil law going through the Roman law of property and then after dinner I did some total revision going over breach of duty in relation to the law of negligence and with that comes the end of another vlog but before I sign off I just want to say that at the time of recording this it is mental health awareness week so just make sure that you're uh, looking after not only your own health, but also just being there for others and talking to them and just being a, you know, a good friend or neighbour, whoever, uh, to that uh, person, even if you don't know them. Uh, I'm sure they would uh, appreciate your kindness. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, don't forget to give a like, don't forget to share it, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to date, don't forget to let other people know about it uh, so that they can see what my uh, vlogs are all about and don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking here and you can check out my previous vlog uh, where I met a certain singer here and I hope to see you all in the next